Hello all, Pastor Matty from the Burnaby Study. Um, coming to you with some V-notes for this week. Uh, and I thought I would talk a little bit about clerical callers. I don't know, um, that must have been done over the years in these V-notes, but I haven't uh, seen it for a while, so I thought, hmm. And I'm seeing some difference uh, in our community of late, and so I thought I would uh, speak to that. So, typically what, what I call the Roman caller, the working priest caller, right? You can, it's an easy easy take out and then you just button your shirt down and you get to whatever other business you're, you need to do after mass but this is uh, uh, this is a fairly common um, uh, approach for a lot of clergy who are not especially clergy like me who are you know maybe they're saying mass and they're off back to work the second most common type that we see in our community is the what I call the Anglican caller or the full caller and that's uh, just a collar that goes all the way around the neck this one happens to be made in uh, out of linen but uh, um, of course, they're they're in plastic as well, and this will. Whereas this is a button-down shirt with a with a. I don't know if you could see that, but a collar that uh, opens up. It's a turned-down collar, right? So this can fit in it. This goes on uh, what we've traditionally called the Manchurian collar, which is a half collar, uh, which has uh, two buttons to join the two halves of the church in the front, where this stud goes through, and then a hole in the collar in the back where where the 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 back stud goes through. Just to illustrate what this looks like, although of course you know, I'll put on my handy rabat, super handy in these hot summer days because it is all the formal shirt front without all the shirt back, which is, uh, could it be the, the mullet of clergy wear? <laughs> oh, no, it's not that. Um, but, but nice, you get a nice formal front and, uh, and then uh, you um, don't have all that uh, shirt sweating up in, on those hot, uh, August days underneath your alb and so on. Then what I have taken to do when I preach, and, and some will have noticed this, is wearing a, an older sort of style uh, uh, accoutrement or attachment to the clerical collar. I notice also my brother, Father Adam, does this. Preacher's tabs or uh, uh, preacher's bands, they're sometimes called, or Geneva bands even. And that effectively goes like so. There's a number of them. Mine either have a Velcro or they have a, a tie-up like this at the back. And they're worn along traditionally with an Anglican or full collar. And they just denote uh, the, who is preaching. You won't see the presider wearing this. That's not a typical uh, uh, thing for the presider. It's, it's usually on the preacher that wears the, uh, the, the preacher's tabs. Um, and uh, they look an awful lot like a lawyer or a judge, and that's because in the 17th century, when uh, when they came into fashion, they were worn by students in both of those disciplines, in the legal and ecclesiastical disciplines. Uh, for me, it's a bit of a throwback to my Lutheran heritage, and you will see me wear uh, full collar, preaching tabs, cassock, and then what's uh, what's called a Geneva gown, or a, or a, a sort of like a black overcoat or black overgown, academic gown, that. Uh, that uh, is worn uh, by the preacher. Sometimes you will see, and I have seen um, Pastor Claire doing this, uh, with, with a gown in choir dress, so that's cassock and surplice, and this is the same way that Father Adam preaches, but sometimes I've seen uh, Claire wear uh, this uh, collar, uh, sorry, this academic hood, which denotes, which is also a way of denoting the preacher, and, and then in Anglican circles, of course, the tippet, which is that black um, stole-like uh, thing. So there you go, that's a little tour of callers and now you know the preacher's bands.